And now let's um, let me take you to drive and let's get to it. So now I have a couple of documents below and let's take a look at this one. It says uh, Buck Final Docs. Now the file is selected. We can tell because it's highlighted. And if I want to trash this document, I can easily, I can easily press this icon right here, which looks like a trash bin. Remove. And the document has been moved to my trash. Now let me show you another way to uh, trash a document. Let's say I select this one, FBA. So I'm pressing right click. And if you look down, it says remove. So I can simply press this icon. And it's been removed as well. Now the process is the same thing for slides, for sheets, and Google Forms. So let me select all three. I selected all three by pressing the control button and then pressing the clicker. So I can trash all three of these at the same time again, either here or I can actually take them and drop them in the trash bin. It's another way to trash a document. So I, now I moved a total of five files into the trash. Now, you need to realize at this point that the documents are in the trash, but they're not fully gone. Um, let's see how much storage I have. I've wasted uh, 852 megabytes of 15. So I say to myself, all right, maybe I shouldn't trash these documents. Let me just hold on to them. So I can go into the trash. And here are some of the documents here, the five that I've just trashed. FBA, form, sequence maps, assistive tech, book final. And let's say I want to take them out of the trash. Here's what I can do. I can highlight. And then I can simply press restore. And now it's back in drive or I can select a bunch of them right click and again restore okay now let's say there's the document that I want to get rid of forever so let's say uh, Jets pregame agenda I can right click this and press delete forever and now it gives me one more per one more last warning. You can't undo this action. So do I want to delete this forever? I'm gonna press yes, delete forever. And now it's fully gone. So now let's say I wanna rename a document. So let's say I just wanna change the name from FBA to a fully functional uh, behavior assessment. So the first way to do that, I can just right click the file, press rename. And from FBA, I can change it. And it's been changed. Now let's say I want to rename this file. I can select it, press this more actions, rename. And I've changed the name for that document. Now let's say I'm working on a document or let's just say I create a new document. So let's create a new document. And as I said earlier, whenever you create a new document, it's gonna automatically start with the words untitled document. So you're gonna to have to change that. So I'll click up here, it says untitled document. We'll, we'll title it uh, sample. Let's say I wanna change it again. Now it's been changed some more. I think that's the easiest way, but you also have the option of renaming it from pressing file, rename, and it simply takes you back up there, and we'll say practice. And now you can see it lastly, which was rename practice. So let's go back to the PowerPoint presentation. And right now, I just want to say thank you for your time, and please watch the next video in the series. Find different ways to share a document.